Hello, my name is Franz and today I'm going to show you how to export media of the Diamant Film Restoration software. So in the project manager, after the restoration, you would select the last generation of your restoration work and go to the menu item export files. The export files, this will bring up an export file dialog. On the first line here, you could choose uh, what you would like to export. Default is the whole sequence, but you can just export a part of it. For instance, like from 100 to 1000 uh, files, then there are possibilities to have frame ranges or shot ranges or some particular shots. So they just export uh, shot one to five and so on. Um, also, by default, the original format of your sequence is selected, but you can convert the format if you want. For instance, in DPX, Diamant supports a large variety of different DPX formats, so you can use this to convert the format, or you can even go to a different uh, format like a QuickTime and select like a DNX HR HQ um, for this. So you have advanced options here. You could uh, specify the frame rate, the start time code, the color matrix. You could even crop the image during the export to, to make to crop out the blanking, uh, or you could scale, you can downscale if you want to create a proxy version. Uh, since we were coming from a DPX file, if you want to include audio, you could include the audio and select um, the audio file to it. You could render a lot on top of it, which could be needed for some cases, and so on. So there are several uh, advanced options and if you want to know more about this uh, you could check in the manual so, uh, for the then you could select an export directory so you can create a sample directory you could give it a name like here test one dot moth let's do a very short one for here just 100 frames uh, uh, sorry, 200. Um, you could save these settings over here to recall it later to have some export presets. You can export right away in here or alternatively you could set add to export queue. This would send the export information to um, the restoration uh, to the render manager and it would be exported here. So for the export queue, you could then queue up several exports. Um, you could schedule exports for the night and so on. So this is quite flexible uh, and helpful and available since version 13. So I think there is not much more to say about exporting in diamonds. So thanks for listening and have a good day. Bye.